And show us. Wes. Why the long face? Aren't you happy to see me? Should I be? Well, if it wasn't thanks to you and your shaman friend, I wouldn't be here. Feeling the love. Your choice was angels. Angel, shmangel. You're the one with the brains. Feel comfortable? Nice acoustics. Wouldn't need a chair. You'll have to forgive the accommodations the last time you were free, you terrorized Sunnydale. Mmm, that's Slayer. She's a pistol. I've imagined this moment many times, years of study, research. I've read everything ever written about you. Stop. I'm blushing. To be one-on-one -on -one with a legendary Angelus as a former watcher, it's a high point. Getting me all buttered up. Getting me all comfortable. Not the most innovative interrogation technique, but okay. I'll is play. It, is it a game? Hey, open book. Ask me anything. How sweet that virgin gypsy tasted. The special smell of a newborn's neck. My first nun. Now there's a great story. We could start there. Don't be coy, Wes. You're just dying to know about the big beastie. Ask away. All right, did you know the beast? Now oh, that's a question. Not a great question. Not even an insightful question. Not a Wyndham Bryce worthy question. If you knew the beast, why wouldn't Angel remember? I don't know. Maybe he doesn't remember the good times. Maybe he won't let himself. So like him. Here's one for you. What's with the whole Angel and the Raiders of the Lost Ark? The movie? Perfect day fantasy you came up with. Caves, booby traps, <laughs> the requisite phallic sword. He fought the beast in the fantasy. Real candy ass. The beast? Angel, not big enough to be the hero on his own. Couldn't be happy unless the whole gang's pitching in. So he killed the beast in the fantasy? Well, he had to, to get what he wanted. We all want something. The way of the world, everyone's got an agenda. And you're going to tell me mine? You want to come down here, get your stats on Lava Boy, play the big hero. I want to know how to kill the beast. Yeah, this has nothing to do with being a hero. Oh, sure it does. But why now? Can't be that there's an apocalypse coming. There's always one around the corner. Enlighten me. <laughs> You want to impress the girl. Move in, get her to love you. And after a few days of flowers and chocolate covered cherries, you'll bend her over the kitchen counter. Is that supposed to rattle me? She's kind of bony for my taste, but different strokes. The beast called you an adversary. Come on, Wes. It's not like your schoolgirl crush is a secret. You found a vulnerability, exploited it, well done. Can we move on now? <laughs> I'm just getting started. You were adversaries, you and the beast. Guy like me, friends, enemies, hard to keep track. If he was an en enemy, I'd be doing you a favor destroying him. You know, you're not fooling anyone. Get yourself. Some new clothes, cute haircut, hit the gym. You're still the same loser no one wanted to hang out with at lunch. Yeah, I'm the one holding the crossbow and you're a prisoner. So what? You've got no leverage. What are you gonna do? Kill me? If I have to. <laughs> <laughs> What'll they drop Wes and then try that again? I'll put your soul back. If you won't talk, no problem. We'll bring the angel back. You'd be no worse off than we were. Making you a failure <gasps> again. You want to waste my time? You can rob down here. Nice stamina, Wes. No wonder she's not interested. Whatever your connection with the beast, clearly you don't know anything that can help us. This the part where I'm supposed to get all defensive? Start blabbing just to prove you wrong? <laughs> what else you got? 
You must hate it. That angel fights evil. Tears you up inside, doesn't it? Seeing all those idiots flock around him, calling him a champion. Anyone ever call you a champion? Yeah, I do my part. Right. Like letting Lila suck Lauren's brain. Here's an oldie but a goodie. Faith. Good job being her watcher. She turned out to be a peach. And you managed to get your soul back, not once, but twice, saving the world several times in the process. Nobody's perfect. Then there's kidnapping the fruit of my loins. Smooth. You survived. I guess you gotta understand that special bond between dad and son. Well, being a drone father's ashamed of you. And Connor's ashamed of you. And the universe's way of maintaining order, I guess. Twerp really gives me the creeps. You? If Cordelia's vision, you and the beast were standing on a field. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. Let's talk about Cordy, shall we? Now, there's a rack to write home about. Too bad. Too bad about the personality, though. Yap, 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 yap. Oh, Angel. Angel, we can't. Angel, I love you, but you were so bad. You ate babies. Chicks. <laughs> Tell me something, Wes. Which in your mind do you think is worse? Kidnapping my kid like you did, or banging him like Cordelia, hmm? All that bumping and grinding, fire raining in the sky. Quite a picture. Well, more like a snapshot because Connor. <laughs> hey! Who's a guy gotta kill to get a drink around here, huh?